What's going on YouTube? So today I'm gonna be reviewing the Godox SL60W, which in my opinion is the best budget light to professional quality on the market. So whether you need a light for your YouTube studio, shooting a music video, a wedding, filming, this is definitely the best bang for your buck, especially for the price. But before I get into the details, let me give you a first look at what this light looks like. Check it out. pretty damn good doesn't it disclaimer I am NOT paid or sponsored by Godox uh, I've been wanting this light for a while and I just wanted to do this review on it now please hear me out on this you're gonna want to know this a lot of people are comparing this light to the aperture a lot of people are comparing this light to the aperture 120d some might say is a knockoff because they're almost the same exact type of light. Here's the thing. The Aperture 120D is a $750 light. Obviously you're going to want to diffuse that light and you're going to want to get the light dome too because of the quick collapse. That's going to run you about $290. You got yourself a nice expensive light there. You're not going to want to put that thing on a cheap light stand. You're going to want to get a decent one. So that's going to run you about uh, 100 to 150 bucks. So you're looking at a total price of about 1100 bucks. Which brings me to my first point, the price of this light. The Godox SL60W is a cool 135 bucks. Like I said, you're basically getting the same shit for less than a quarter of the price. But wait, there's more. <laughs> I paired it with the Photodiox 36 inch deep easy pro parabolic softbox which is 80 bucks and please hear me out i feel like this is important for you to know that softbox is the only budget softbox on the market that i know that has the quick collapse like the 290 dollars aperture light dome too so you don't have to waste your time dealing with those rods and putting together the light box pain in the ass quick and easy to open same to close You don't have to go ahead with the same stand. The stand I went with was the Mount Dog 10 foot heavy duty spring cushion light stand, which is a complete piece of shit, let me tell you. I bought it because it was $24.99, and since I was gonna make this video on how budget friendly everything was, I thought it would work out. But it turned out that thing was a complete piece of shit. But the one thing I could say about it is that it does hold up the light and it is stable. The only thing I wasn't crazy about was the material. It was very like cheap. It felt cheap. The knobs were like really cheap plastic. It just feels very cheap, but it does hold up the light, like I said, so it is what it is. I'll get a better one. So, aperture setup is $1,100. Godox setup is $240. You know, I could probably end this thing like right here because it's kind of a no-brainer, but I will go over the features of the light and give you some examples of when I used it in a music video. The light is a 5600 Kelvin fixed daylight, just like the 120D. It has a wireless dimming adjustment remote, which has six groups and each group has 11 channels for presets. It's kind of a lot. It has a rear LCD screen and an onboard adjustment dial. The mount type of the light is a Bowens mount, which is cool because they sell all sorts of attachments for Bowens mount. It has a heat sink and a built-in fan. And I want to mention really quick, I've seen a ton of videos where people are complaining about the fan noise. Do you hear anything? I don't either, so I don't know what they're talking about. But with all fairness, um, I just got this light maybe about two months ago. So I don't know if I got an updated version or if they just updated the light recently with a newer version, but I have no problems whatsoever with fan noise. Moving forward, it also comes with a cover to protect the heat sink of the light and also a light reflector. The light without the diffuser weighs about three and a half pounds and the light with the diffuser weighs about nine pounds. Let me tell you, I really like the long 
power cord it came with also i want to mention that um doesn't tell you how long the power cord is but give or take if i had to put a number on it it's i'd say it's about 10 to 15 feet which is pretty long also i want to mention something for peace of mind for those who end up picking up this light as soon as you turn the light on the remote will say 4400 calvin or k but if you want to use the light where you can turn it down all the way to the lowest dimmable percentage, set it at 5600 Kelvin or K because at 4400 K, the percentage only goes down to 25%. But if you set it on 56 Kelvin, you can put it all the way down to 0%. Start it from 0%, I should say. Keep that in mind. So those are the features of the light. And honestly, I'm not going to get too scientific with it because I'm just not that smart. I know how it works, but I'm not the greatest at explaining things down to a scientific aspect. Those are just basic things you need to know. But just so you can see a little more of how well the light is, I'm going to give you an example of the brightness by increasing the brightness from 0 to 110 percent increments. So obviously this is what it's like with the light completely off. That's at 10 percent, 20 percent, 30 percent, 40 percent. 50% starting to get a little bright 60 70 80 90 and finally 100 and I'm blind thanks well, let's go back to a uh, 15% where I had it that's more like also here's an example of me using the light in a music video scenario so in this scenario I had the light above the subject kind of you know, in an angle above the subject facing down on him. I had the light on about 20 to 30%. I only was using the light and a small hair light behind him that was pretty far back. And this is what it looks like in the actual music video. <laughs> Just a plain black background but i really love it because the light is so soft it really makes it look good i'm gonna end this video real soon but before i go i want to talk to you about the one con that i have with this light the only one big con i have not really a deal breaker but it's that it didn't come with a case or a bag now i guess i can't complain danny can't complain Shout out to my boy, uh, Gilly V. He's my YouTube partner in crime. You might have seen his video if you're watching this Gold Ox video. That's my boy in real life. Shout out to him. Link below if you haven't seen his video. Check him out. Check out his channel. He never complains. But for the price point, I guess I really can't complain. But that was my only con is that it didn't come with a damn bag. A bag would have been nice to protect the light in some way, even if it was a cheap bag. You know what I mean? Well, I think and I hope I covered everything in this video for the light. Um, if this video helped you out with making a decision on buying this light, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions about anything that I didn't cover, please feel free to leave it in the comments below and I will answer it with the best knowledge that I can possibly give to you. Like always, you guys, thanks for watching and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace out.